feels like a Wednesday, like we're midweek, but we're not. Wow, that's ironic. <laughs> <laughs> because it is Wednesday, huh? I would... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> the 22nd of no! August. Great day. Let's... Sask Energy is announcing a proposal to jack off, uh, up the cost of heating your home. Reporting live from the newest Walmart in the Shreve, sh in the Shreve City Shopping Center, Jonathan McCall, KSLA News 12. All right. Be careful with that one. That's uh, one of those words you don't want to mispronounce all. The ordinance prohibits two or more gang members from standing near a designated safe zone. If gang members are caught, they'll get a ticket. Investigators say they'll notify each gang member when the law goes into effect. Liz, back to you. Well, I'm sure you needed it, Annie. Did you get many spankings as a kid? Uh, as a kid? No. No, I'm, I'm, no, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a I mean, minute. I mean, wait a minute. That's not what I meant. I meant I was a little... <laughs> I'm not, uh, never mind. I'm sorry. That's not where I'm at. I'm really embarrassed. But I was a pretty good kid. Uh, I'm sure you I, were. No. That is, we checked the booby, uh, buoys out shore. Thousands of people left without power after an earthquake hits Kent. Organizers hope a tour will help them change the face of the Fayetteville Farmer's Market. Excuse me, Donna, go ahead. Thank you, sir. Donna, I appreciate it. Donna, this is the funniest thing. I'm going to have to duck out of here. Okay. I have a bridge that has fallen out. So I'm Dr. Stringfellow. Okay. Get ready. All right. Call go. the dentist. Goodbye, <laughs> folks. All right. Good night, Greg. Thanks for being here. We uh, do have some other people who just ventured into their house. And I saw, as a matter of fact, these teenagers diving into the street. Not a good idea. But. <laughs> good morning at News 10. <laughs> You got me. You got me, man. Oh my God. That was good, you guys. Oh, Monica, are you ready? No. no. <laughs> I think the two on the end, Monica and Melissa, or Melonica, as you like to call them. Melonica, do you mean, please? Oh, please. Well, you couldn't see. You just heard a scream behind you. You heard my scream. Yeah. And Melissa, you saw them running in? What? Yeah. Oh, Melissa. This is a and rare I, I apologize. I'm, I, I really do scream quite loud on, like, roller coasters and stuff. People don't like to go on them with me. You know what? I, I have to apologize as well because I really let off scream. Good girl. Oh, oh, my goodness. goodness. Here we go, Melissa. She truly <laughs> You guys Kevin. want me to do better in traffic for you? Oh, no, no. Okay. I, I, I'm quite fine. <laughs> I'm a little shaky. You can blame the producers there. Thanks a lot, oh Kevin and Trevor. Hey. We are so getting you back. Yeah, but if you want your money's worth, I'll tell you what, that's a great ticket. Ooh. If you want yeah. the bajini scare, whoa. Yeah. I have a, like, <laughs> I have a whole new traumatic we memory. May, we may need to call the Angel <laughs> Cardenas to do traffic for the rest of the Clean show. up on aisle three right here, too, please. Add this to your yeah. memory. Book. Oh yeah, Bye. yeah, Greg, just go take your posse. I'm out of here. <laughs> Kelly May and the gang. I'm not sure what I said, but I just flew out of here. So. Well, we will be addressing that with the FCC shortly, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I, I am sorry no if I one, is, um, No, I, I know I was hearing eardrums from my. <laughs> oh yeah, because I was <laughs> <laughs> No one at like, home. I just remember yelling my mom saying, "Mommy, <laughs> help me." <laughs> yeah. And then Dan comforting you was just a little weird, but yeah. All right, weather and traffic on the tens. Good gravy. What a way to start off a Friday. Uh, and again, I apologize if I screamed in your ear. Oh, goodness. Just a year after Florida became the first state to allow citizens, excuse me, we're having some technical problems in the studio. Let me try to get through this and while we figure out what to do. Uh, we're going to have to go to a break, guys. We have a fire in the studio. We've got a fire in the studio. Some technical we're out problems. Here. Forgive us. ¿Dónde hay turistas acá? Mm, sí, Yo claro. pensaba que era solo de turistas, ¿no? No, no, no te escuché. Back here live at the Waterfront Village with my friend, the zombie, Jonathan. You're looking good. Jonathan just got an awesome face paint job. What do you think? I like turtles. All right. You're great zombie. And good times here at the Waterfront Village. Channel 4's Adam Landau is live in Jacksonville Beach with the decibel details. Adam? Well, I was saying it, bitch. It's... 
tell here for many reasons, and it's just that's just one of the reasons. Yeah, put that on the news. Ever put it's innocent. St. Louis Circuit Attorney Jennifer Joyce. Great news regarding Bill's tight end, Kevin Everett. He moved his arms and legs today. And doctors now believe that's the wrong video, by the way. That is not the right video. A local man spots something suspicious and uh, that uh, he uh, decides to spring into action. Um, he uh, has done something that is very good. Parents watch out another internet Excuse me, <clears throat> well, something in my throat all of a sudden. <clears throat> and, <clears throat> and that really sounds kind of funny, doesn't it? Anyway, here's the story. Well, Baltimore Ravens running back Ray Rice breaks his silence today, apologizing to his wife and his fans for the allegations that he attacked his wife, knocking her unconscious in a casino elevator this last February. <laughs> all right, that is not the right video. It will also help the country rebuild it will also help the country rebuild some of its destroyed infrastructure. At least one of the two American aid workers. We will begin with CBS 13's Anjali Hemphill. Uh, more of what we've learned about the patient at Kaiser South. Anjali, are you there? Uh, obviously, Anjali cannot hear us at this time. It's a tremendous effort on the part of our crew, and it's a great. I didn't force anything down anybody's throat. I didn't make anybody stay here until 7 a.m. or 11 or whenever it is everybody finally left. I didn't make this kid pass out on my floor. People wanted to be here. That was their decision. Uh, Adam, what kind of calls are you getting right now? Any damage, any injuries? Yes, good morning. Well, because of the early morning, uh, it's such that it was so early in the morning, most people were at their homes when it happened. And what we believe is that this was a rumbling from Howard Stern's butt crack. All right. Obviously, uh, that is not who we expected it was to be. We apologize for that so early in the morning. Sheriff's Office Crimes Against per Persons Special Unit Crimes Unit is asking for your help in, find in, helping in finding the person involved in a kidnapping case. We have limited information at this time, but here's what we know so far. The kidnapping happened yesterday, or Friday afternoon, I'm sorry, around 5.15 in the afternoon in the area of the Horizon High School. We have a picture of the person and the truck pictured below that police are looking for. If you have any information regarding the person involved or the vehicle, they are asking that you contact the sheriff's office immediately. Keep it right here on Morning Jew. Joe. The White House is clearly, I would assume, hoping that this will be part of the president's legacy given uh, his background. Yeah, the fact that he's from Kenya and the fact that when he was elected, there were expectations on the African continent. Pretty nice fucking weather here the last week of August. Do you like summer? We are doing into week number, weekend number two of what we're calling the Cajon Crawl. Uh, here's some video from him. Not that so much, but what we saw a moment ago might stop for some salad on the way. They do believe the lightning hit the back of the house, a tree near the house, and perhaps an antenna maybe bouncing off of one another or all at once. Another storm's moving and we've got to go. Just to keep panic at bay here, we do have breaking news right now. Facebook is down. We're expecting this to, uh, you know, trend on Twitter any moment. Here's the screen grab we have from our newsroom where people are unfortunately having trouble getting on. I got on, but nothing's uploading. Nothing is updating. It just allowed me to send a friend request. That's all. And in all seriousness, on Twitter, yeah, I just went and checked. Yeah, uh, right now, hashtag Facebook down trending. Facebook says... They're working on getting it fixed soon. How about that? GE August Falls, you can do love from Wednesday, the 20th of August, 2014. You're joining us live from RT Stage B. Slung Pew, I hope I pronounced the last name correctly. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am, it's Slung Pew. Oh, thank you very much. What can you tell us about this? Or, or is it something you've ever seen before like this? Uh, well, well, it appears that we have a water main that broke, and the apparent cause of the water main that broke was, uh, you know, it's coming into us from our from our from our troops on the ground. Basically, that a couple of college students might have sent down a cherry bomb down the toilet. What? Oh. Can you say that again? Right. You think somebody sent a cherry bomb down the toilet? Yeah, it's that uh, 
but we, we try to put on seminars, you know, yearly, explaining how dangerous it is to send uh, any kind of explosives down uh, down a, a plumbing drain. But, uh, you know, that's, that's what is coming back to us. You know, we had a pressure break uh, around sunset, and uh, the cherry bomb must have popped through the, uh, the top of the pipe and uh, just blew the bottom right out of it. Well, is this something that happens because of the UCLA campus and kids playing around, or is it the high school campus, or do you know the source? Uh, right now, we're still in the investigation phase. It, it just seems that uh, it seems that the break might have come somewhere around the Poly Pavilion area, one of the locker rooms. It was, it was either a, a, a cherry bomb or someone took a really large dump. You know. That is an incredible. So, are you 100% sure about that? Is that is is? is that's, a, that's a fake call. Oh, we, we lost him. I'm sorry about that. We hope to get, get him back. Travis, it's that girl from the TV station. Travis, it's that girl! Oh, Travis, man. Back here. Keep your shit. And definitely the place to be thinking about summer, especially if you're the outdoorsy type. I'm Stephanie Sovier, and coming up, we'll show you some things you can do to have fun in warm weather. I've got gas right now. Do you really? Not right now. <laughs> Get it <at> home. Nice. <laughs> well, there is grilling. <laughs> okay. Grilling 101. Uh, <laughs> horrible. On the front of your own. <laughs> okay. Anyways, you can check out some tips about how you should do a grilling. <laughs> Let's, go to, let's go to the sports wrap now. The U.S. Open is now underway at Pine <laughs> <laughs> Vasectomies are meant to be a form of birth control, but a study in Thailand has been... <laughs> Sorry, the video, I mean, so we're just looking right there. <laughs> but a study in Thailand has... <laughs> <laughs> but a study in Thailand has bad news for couples who want to reverse the vasectomy. They found reversing the procedure may raise the risk of... <laughs> Can you tell about this oh, video? sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. But I mean, the video is just focusing on just one area. Anyway, reversing the procedure may raise the risk of having babies with birth, birth defects. Researchers in Thailand study... <laughs> <laughs> Study. 18 men who had their vasectomies reversed. That's how they came up with it. I guess they There's looked nothing very to see. Nothing to see. Uh, <laughs> we're just not talking. <laughs> and nothing to say either. Nothing Dan's to say. Like, can we move on? <laughs> can we move on? <laughs> Let's keep going. Maybe we shall. Okay. Yeah. 7.2 magnitude magnitude earthquake rattled Alaska's <laughs> seismically active Aleutian Islands. It was magnitude 7.2. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very large earthquake. <laughs> the good thing is, there were no immediate reports of any damages or injuries. So, that magnitude. Uh, firefighters say that the... Uh, You're the on private property. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> the wonders of live t TV. The winds worked in favor of them, and in some spots, they al also hindered them. But he talked about how they helped. Please. Okay. All, All right. right. What's Marvin, happened here is yeah. some person, we don't know it's who the person owner, is, think, yeah. has come up to our equipment and is in the mm. process of shutting it down now. Marvin, you and Dario okay? We, we are fine. And we're, 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 All right. Tell him that's assault. Don't touch well, you. Just you guys move. We'll tell you they've gotten the upper hand on that fire. Poor Marvin's been chasing this thing all morning long, just trying to tell you how many volunteer firefighters are out there. All right, Marvin, we'll come back to you. Doctors in Utah are hoping for a new, new medical breakthrough to solve the problems of attention disorder behavior with problems with children. Attention deficit, deficit hyperactivity is a common disorder and it affects three out of five kids, uh, or actually three to five percent of the children with, uh, let's start this all over again. <laughs> What a shame we're doing with to my, belly dancing. With my partner. <laughs> oh. Hey, don't be rude. Hey, like I said, my, my belly dances every day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and in between. Right, Keith? <laughs> Mine does when I move. <laughs> See? <laughs> that's right over Fort Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Arkansas. I said that's right over Fort Smith. <laughs> over Fort Smith. The belly dance over Fort Smith. All right. <laughs>